going on, guys and gals? Big Rob back with another brew video. Today we're doing something a little crazy, man. We're doing what I'm going to call me Franken Brew. I mean, and I ain't going by recipe. I just am going to throw a bunch of shite that uh, I have laying around into the old Brewer's Edge mash and boil. She's heating up the um, strike temperature now, 160 degrees Fahrenheit we're going. And then we're going to mash in it. Uh, 150, we're gonna uh, mash, not mash in, we're gonna mash at that temperature. So I got eight, eight pounds of two row, so that's gonna be my base. I'm trying to see if I can't do maybe a bitter or a mild or something like that with some of the stuff I got left. I'm not gonna use everything I thought I was going to. I decided I didn't want to totally just destroy the beer. So I'm going to, it's very, I did a Fuller's. They called for uh, nine pounds of uh, two row. Um, I got eight. They call for two pounds of Crystal 60, which I have um, Carol Red, uh, about, geez, that's only probably half a pound. That's interesting. And then they called for 0.25 of Special B, which I've got that. So, I don't know what we're going to end up here because I'm about a pound and a half off on the Carol Red. Um, I got some other grains I might take a look at before I mash in to see if I can't top it up a little bit. Um, I got some wheat that might give me some nice head retention and stuff, some thickness to it, I don't know. Um, as for hops, I'm going with 0 .5, 0 0.75 Galliana. We're gonna do that. I think I will do that right at the, um, let me see, what did I do there? Jeez, I don't know. I think I'll wait. I think I'll do it uh, the last 15 minutes. And then I will, um, at Flame Out, do my, what do I got here? Oh, that's good. Oh, that, that's the Galliana. This is 0.75 of Columbus. Maybe we'll do that at Flame Out. So they're both high in the IBUs, um, both at 13% AA. So, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Don't care, that's the beauty man. This is brewing, come up with your own deal. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, I'm gonna mash in, I'll be back. Um, once we get rocking and rolling here, I will have made a decision if I'm going to add any more of my leftover stuff to it to kind of bring the grain bill up a little bit because right now it's a little on the weak side. Um, but we'll see, man. We just let it ride. Be back soon. All right, all right, all right. This is my lovely assistant, Brianna. She's just back from her dance class pictures, hence all the makeup on a nine year old. We're all mashed in. Um, Change the recipe up a little bit. It's my prerogative to freaking do so, man. Uh, so what I did, eight pounds, two row, 0. 0.5 pounds Cara Red, 0.25 or quarter of a pound of uh, Cara Munich. I like to call it Cara Munch. Um, quarter of a pound of Cara Pills and a quarter of a pound of Special B. So we're gonna mash for an hour starting now and then we'll do our spurge and then we'll hit the boil. Um, we're going to do uh, 0.75 of an ounce of Galli Anno at 15 minute mark and 0.75 of Columbus at the flame out. What do you think, Bree? I don't know. She don't know. Smelled good though, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. She was saying how good the grain smelled. She poured them in and helped me stir them up. So that's it. We'll be back. Stop dancing around back there. It's a beer making video. Your name ain't Jeff, it's Bram. All right, we have done one hour mash. I got the sparge water sitting on the stove top, ready to rock. Uh, what we're gonna do here now, is take the cover off this bad boy. Then we pull out, ooh, that's hot, that's hot. That's usually a mitt. No stirring. Oh. Pull out the old uh, grain can. I got pretty it really hot. It all went out. We want it to, so it's draining all the liquid. Then we twist, and she sits right there. We let her drain. Then all I do for charging, you watch, her, watch yourself, is I get myself. We're gonna talk to the people. Um. So my name's Jeff. <laughs> it ain't Jeff. Get down. Move. 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 Ha! Get. All right. 
What we're doing now is we're taking the sparge water off the, I just heat up sparge water in a pot um, on the stove. It takes like 25 minutes, it gets about 170 degrees, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I take a pot. That's not good. Wife's gonna be mad about that one. And we'll use this one. Don't tell your wife. Don't tell your mother. Really. Oh my your little secret. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. So all I do, guys, is I want to get this up to. Um, let me think. I bo this boils off. This boils off at about um, Dad, just go like this. half a gallon oh. an hour. So I'm gonna want, I'm gonna say that I want six and a half gallons on this brew. So we're gonna take this up to seven gallons. That's all I do guys, just, I just fill this up, let it drain, let it do its thing, and then uh, it drains through the bed. I try to spread it evenly across the green bed so that we're not getting the sugar just from one section. I just let it ride. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take it up to seven gallons. And then right now I'm actually going to turn this over to 1600 watt. That's the uh, the heater. I had it on 1000 um, during the spurge. We're now going to take this thing up to 218. I don't know if you guys, you guys can't see that. I'm, I'm using the control um, interface on the Brewer's Edge. Take it up to 218 so it starts to hit the boil. Um, and, that, and once it gets there, I then drop it back down to the thousand uh, setting instead of 1600 on the heater. What are you doing? I love this. I looked up, the camera's gone. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. My little assistant helped us out. And I hit set on that. And uh, 216, I want 218. I hit set, set, set. And shut one more time. That's it. So uh, we'll be back. Uh, I'll be back for the first hop edition, which isn't going to be until 15 minutes into the hour-long boil. Rock on, big round is out. Woo! Time for the first hop edition, guys. We are doing 0.75 ounces of Galli Enna. 13.2 per salt. Bam. And we're also going to do the Warflock, aka Irish Moss in tablet form. So what I do is I get the old grain bags, put them in here, little hopskies, a lot of powder, hop powder. All right, and I make sure she's in there. I got a little clip, clip, put her in there so she don't hit the bottom. There's a thermostat down there she could hit and then we do the old uh, whir flock bam that's for clarifying in she goes nice little bubbly bubbly and uh, that's it guys until uh, we got 15 minutes left in the boil and then we're going to uh, put the Columbus in and uh, and we're gonna go chill I've been inside working put lattice outside of uh, freaking uh, my patio, so I'm all sweating, and you know, no, it's Canadian not used to this heat. Hot, it's hot today. Be back soon. Golden ale I brewed a couple weeks ago. Delicious taste test coming. We're at Flame Out, guys. Um, I'm no chilling it like I do on a regular basis. Um, basically, the bowling hop wort goes in there, shake it all around, push the air out, put the cap on tomorrow morning. I let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow morning I uh, I um, put her in the fermenter and pitch the yeast. Um, because I'm doing no chill, I'm gonna do the second hop edition. I'm just gonna put it in the no chill. I'm gonna dry hop, it's not really dry hop. I'm just gonna leave it there overnight. I'm sitting in there, kind of like flame out. Same idea, that's what I got guys. Big Rob is out, makebeereasy.com. If you wanna learn more tips on how to make beer easy, makebeereasy.com. Cheers. Morning recap of Franken Brew. Everything went pretty good. Um, I already told you all the ingredients. There's the hydrometer, she's got nice, uh, I don't know, bronze is bronze, yeah, gold color to it. It's gonna be an, it's gonna be a light beer uh, in color, so that's nice. Uh, I came at 1.040 OG. Um, sufficiency only 69%. Don't understand that. 
Um, however, it is what it is. All good. Um, pitched the yeast today, which was... Huh, I didn't write it down. can't remember. I have to go... Uh, it was... <laughs> Can't remember what damn yeast I used. It was a Belgian of some sort, White Labs. I have to get the uh, the wrapper back out of the garbage so that I can uh, document that and taste the Frank in case the Franken brew turns out good. Not high expectations. Not too concerned that it's going to be terrible. Um, it should probably be all right. I mean, uh, it is what it is. That's what I got, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Check me out at makebeereasy.com. You can get on my email update list where I send you brews and tips and things that I come across that I find are helpful. Um, most of my focus is all about making beer easy. Make beer easy. Big Rob is 